guys, today we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs using the word look. Now as we know, when we use phrasal verbs, it completely changes the meaning of the base verb. So the word look, we know what that means. To look, like looking at the camera, uses our eyes, but there are many other meanings of look when we add prepositions after that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so let's look at the first one. To look for means to try to find something. This is one that you probably are very familiar with already, like to look for your coat or to look for a restaurant to eat at. The second one is to look up something, like to look something up on the internet. This pertains to trying to find information about something. Some example sentences, look up the phone number for Domino's, or I looked up this article on Wikipedia. To look into, our third one means to investigate something to try to find information about something, but in a different way than this. To look into means to deeply research. Like, I looked into this doctor and he specializes in surgery. If I look up a doctor, then I know that he exists, but if I look into him, then I know about his work and his patients, more specific information. To look over something, can mean a couple of different things. It can mean to skim over something instead of reading it, to look at the words or sentences very quickly. Like, in high school, I looked over Pride and Prejudice, but I didn't read it. Or it can, look, it can mean to edit or to revise something. Like, my professor looked over my essay and told me to rewrite it. To look after means to take care of something or someone. Like, I look after my brothers on the weekends, or my neighbor looks after my dog when I go on vacation. To look back usually means to reflect on the past. Sometimes we tell, we tell people advice after a breakup, don't look back. But sometimes it's good to look back and think about mistakes in the past so that we can change. To look forward to something means that we are excited about an event in the future. Like, I am looking forward to Thanksgiving with my boyfriend's family. To look to is probably the most difficult to understand. It, um, it's a more abstract concept that basically means I'm planning to do something. Like, I'm looking to start a band this year, or I'm looking to adopt a dog. I could substitute that in for I'm planning to start a band, or I'm looking to start a band. So going into the next, to the conversation that you're going to hear with Kim and Stephanie, listen for these phrases and try to understand the gist of the conversation. If you need to listen to it two or three times, no problem. Hey, could you look over this for me? Um, sure, what is it? It's a resume. I'm looking for a new job. Oh, that's great. Do you know what kind of job you want? I looked up some options on the internet and it looks, and it looks like there are a lot of jobs in stores and restaurants. I'm looking for something flexible with my school schedule. Okay, these look like good options. Actually, my aunt is looking to hire someone to look after her kids after school. She'll pay pretty well and her kids are alright. Yeah, I guess that's an option, but I've had babysitting jobs before. Looking back, I was kind of bad at looking after children. I'm not very good with kids. Okay, well it says here on your resume that you have your lifeguard license. What about a job with the community swimming pool? I looked into that, but they aren't hiring right now. They only look for more employees during the summer. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sure you'll still find a good job. Your resume looks pretty good. I don't see any problems with it. Thanks for looking it over. I appreciate it. No problem. 
good luck.